pulling the reins, riding the trails and the wide open plains, out where the skies kiss the mountains, out where old pals never change. And when I get home, never more will I roast, but I want to go back on the range. Wah! I'm going home! Hey, Tex, don't be a chump. What do you mean, chump? You'll be a chump if you go back to Texas and play nursemaid to a couple of cows. Listen, kid, you're a sensation. What do you want to go back there for? There's plenty of dough to be made here in professional football. Well, Butch, I'm homesick. And when a man is homesick for Texas, he's got something to be homesick about. Ah, uh, even so, I still think you're crazy. Maybe so, but you might be wrong. Boy, I felt halfway home when I dug these old clothes out of the trunk. Hey, you mugs, come here. All of you. Say, when the season is all over, how about you all coming down and paying me a visit? That's a good oh, idea. Well, we only got two more games. Right. Well, well, go down, Tex. Okay, pal. Hey, Tex. Can I see you a minute? Certainly, Spud. What is it? Well, Tex, I've had an idea for a long time. Why, Spud? I've never suspected you had an idea. Oh, I'm next kid, and I'm serious. I got a yen to be a cowboy. You what? Well, why not? Do you think you're the only guy who can be crazy about the open range and all that junk? Say, listen, I've been watching them guys in the movies, and I know I could do that stuff. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? Well, I was thinking uh, I could trail along with you, and you know the ropes. You could show me the way to get around, you know. Spud boy, I don't think you know what you're asking for. You'd better stick it out here. <laughs> what Texas? <laughs> what What's up? 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 Spud wants to be a cow puncher. <laughs> How do you like that, Max? <laughs> you know, he's gone to night school with the movies. He's learned all about being a cowboy. And now he wants to ride him high, wide, and handsome with a loud whoopee! <laughs> I've got blisters where I've never had blisters before. Ah, keep your chin up. It ain't my chin that's bothering me. That horse trader sold me a rock crusher instead of a cayuse. <laughs> Say, listen to that. This ain't the 4th of July and the folks down here don't burn powder just for fun. Come on, let's take a look. like I got here in just about the right time. Yeah. Reckon I owe you a debt of gratitude whether I like it or not. Well, Lynn, what quarrel have you got with me? I got a quarrel with anyone by the name of Fletcher. You've either said too much or not enough. Go on. Texas used to be a peaceful, law-abiding country. And my father made it that way. I ain't saying it so. But a while back, we begin to be overrun by all the gun-toting riffraff along the border. 
They kept a crowding in the air like a swarm of grasshoppers. And we looked to Tom Fletcher to clean things up. Naturally. Well, we asked your father to come to a meeting to organize the ranches to wipe out that nest of rattlesnakes. But he never showed up. Why not? You can't ask a man who's disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? Well, that ain't hard to figure out. Either he was afraid or... Or what? Or in cahoots with that gang. How could you think that? You won't find anyone around here who thinks different. They will before I'm through. If my dad disappeared, it wasn't of his own free will. You know, that looked easy when I seen it done in the movies. Hey, what was all the shooting about? Well, the fight's all over, Spud. All over? So quick? When we throw lead down here, we mean business. Lem, if you want to lift to your ranch, climb on with Spud. Thanks. Gee, I never thought it would be like this when I got home. It's a nasty slap in the face, Tex. I'm sorry. I know you are, Spud. Come on, I'll show you where you'll flop. Flop nothing. I'll just ease down. I've heard of razorback hogs, but I've never heard of razorback horses. something that he thought was in this room. Yeah, and if I only had brains instead of sawdust in my noggin, we might have grabbed them. I'll stop kicking yourself around, Spud. Hey, Tex, you've got blood on your hand. Say, I must have hit one of them. I'll say you did. Whoever was searching this house could give me the answer to my father's disappearance. Now, boys, you all better walk the chalk line. We're going to have law and order around here. Now that Sheriff Fletcher's hightailed it with all that he could get. Oh, that Fletcher was a bad guy. Come on, let's have a drink. Right. Come on, Steve. Sheriff Fletcher wasn't running any bluff. He had enough evidence on smuggling to call in the government for help. I searched all over the place. I couldn't find a thing. Then a couple of ranchers butted in on me and I had to...
woman born for pleasure, a spidey young cowboy alone from the lawn. His hat was thrown back, his fur was dim. As he come near me, he was in a song. Oh, hi, a yogi, long little doggy, joy of misfortune and none of my own. Now they're a-trailin' to Idaho. Whoopie hi, ya yo, get along, little doggy, and know that Wyoming will be your new home. Stranger around here, ain't you? Yeah, is there a law against a fellow being a stranger? Now, don't be so smart, Alec. It's my business to check up on strangers. Why are you here? Well, a fellow's got to be someplace, and this happens to be the place. Some other time, some other place. That tells a story. Just a drifter. That's right. What's the idea of trying to steal my show? You didn't mind, did you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, just a drifter. Chances are he'll be gone tomorrow. Let's be right. He's brought in another bunch of stuff from across the line. Hey, Jim, I ain't supposed to know about what's going on. Oh, shut up. Who's going to ask you if you know anything or not? Have any trouble? Well, it's not my idea of having a good time. A trip across the desert is murder. How about a drink? Hey, buddy. What happened to your eye? Run into a door? Who wants to know? Get away from here. Now, don't start that again. But, Don, I'm afraid of this place, and I don't want you mixed up in this crowd. You're the only brother I have, and I've got to look after you. Get that idea out of your head. I'm not a baby, and no one has to look after me. Cut out the double talk and let me in on it now. What happened? Well, I stopped at the cantina and ran into a man with a patch over his eye. That must be the guy you shot. Spud, we've got to be smart. And the best way to outsmart the other fellows is to make them think that you're not smart. Oh, that last part will be a cinch for me. You drift into town tomorrow. Don't act as if you know me, no matter what happens. It's brains against beef until we can spring the fireworks in the last quarter. There's a pair of these guns exactly alike. My father gave me one and he carried the other. And this one has a message for the man who was responsible for whatever happened to him. Partners. What are you waiting for, sucker? Hey, boys. 
Get a load of that. Howdy, partners. You mind if I join you? No, not at all. Not at all. Sit right here. Just a minute till we dust this off. You don't want to get those clothes all dusty. Uh, there's plenty more where they come from. And I got the note of iron, too. Hey, you. Where's your license? What license? License to run a medicine show. I ain't got no medicine. I ain't got no medicine show, and I'm spilling nothing to no lawman. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you were a hard riding hombre back in New Jersey. Where's Jim Davis? Over in his office. Look, you. We've got a nice, quiet town here. Don't go leading these boys astray. Wise cracker, huh? I'll show that mug a few tricks ain't even in the book. I bet you will. You tell him I will. You talk as if you're pretty well healed. Want to play a little card? Sure, I'll give you a piece of oil. All right, deal him up. Why can't I pull out if I want to? Because I need you on the other side of the border. And don't you dare try to double-cross me unless you want to hang for murder. I didn't kill Sheriff Fletcher. I know I was drunk, but I wouldn't do it. Hello, Joe. Come on in. Don's been trying to tell me he didn't pump any letting to Sheriff Fletcher. <laughs> well, of course he did. Me and you both saw him. And you rode across the border dressed in his clothes. But don't you worry. I never cause a friend of mine any trouble. What did you want? Well, Jim, I wish you'd hold the boys down a bit. Say, they're running hog wild rustling on this side of the line. But what if they are? Well, it puts me in a bad light. <laughs> Say, don't tell me you take that job serious. You know, I pinned that badge on you so that no one could squawk that the law wasn't being duly represented in this county. Now, we're all in a swell spot and we'll all clean up big. I want you to have the boys go out and ride those ranches hard. Drive them out. Keep them so busy worrying about their own hides that they won't have a chance to worry about our business. Tom Fletcher was the only man who could have organized the opposition against us. And he's been patted in the face with a shovel. Suppose the rangers come in. They won't send them unless you ask for them. That's why you're a sheriff. Now, there's a lot of stuff waiting for us on the other side of the border, and here's the money to pay for it. Get going. I don't want to be shit any other games. It suits me fine. Go ahead and deal. Hey, come on, shuffle them. I'm going across the line. You two fellas saddle up some horses and meet me out the corral. Well, I'm glad you're going instead of me. I don't care about frying my hide across that desert. Hey, what do you keep Don Harper hanging around for? Someday he's going to kick over the traces and get us all in a jam. Because I need his connections on the other side of the line. And he'll be a good boy as long as he believes he killed Sheriff Fletcher. I still think it's a mistake to take a chance on him. You sure you ain't holding on to him on account of his sister? Why, you... Someday you're going to talk yourself into a lot of trouble. I'm all out of breath from trying to catch up with you. Where are you going? I've got a little business trip to make. I'm going with you. No, you're not. Why can't I ever go with you on any of these mysterious business trips? And why don't you ever tell me anything about them? There's no reason for you to get so upset. Forget it. I'll be back in a couple of days.
Well, I didn't think that you'd be... That is, I thought of you only as a singer, not a horseman. Well, some singers should be horsemen only. <laughs> Have you anything very important to do? No, not right now. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of this horse. Would you ride back to town with me? Well, I'd be glad to. It was awfully nice of you to rescue me, and I... Listen, Romeo, you're kind of stepping out of your class. Now, you better watch yourself, or you might get your ears slapped down. Come on, Jean. I was looking for you. Well, I thought you were sliding for second base. Oh, next kid, and I got important news. Well, what is it? I heard they're going to raid the Baker Ranch right away. Are you sure? That's the way I dope their signals. Okay, we run interference with Baker. and don't spare the land. Right. That'll be a cinch. Take care of them for a while, boys. Come on, let's head back. Well, boys, those hombres aren't so tough. All they needed was a little opposition. You know, son, this is just like old times when your dad was around. Why, he... Yes, I guess that's right. But this is only the start of what I'm going to do. I'll break up their teamwork by making them suspect each other. Hey, do you all 
troopers get off a horse that away? No, only when I dismount. Is the war over? It's all over, Spud. Oh, doggone it. Looks like I never will get in one of these fights. Now, you just be patient. Maybe one will come your way someday. <laughs> well, I guess I better be going. I want to get to town before that gang gets there. I'll get in touch with you later. All right, son. And some of the boys won't be back. What does this mean? You had a perfect setup. What went wrong this time? Well, your guess is good as mine. They sure had a reception committee waiting for us. The well, Baker had his cattle all rounded up. He might have expected a raid and called in a few neighbors. A few neighbors? It was a convention. Well, we got to put a stop to it. We can't let that crowd get organized. We've got to find out who's pulling them together or we're licked. Give me a slug of what I need and a bottle of linen. Let me sing along. Let me sing a song where the horses jog along under. Yeah, but suppose you don't. They've been outsmarting you lately. They seem to know what you're going to do before you do. Well, I can't keep that up all the time. Whoever's leading those rises will overreach himself. Then we'll have a nice, quiet funeral. Excuse me, ma'am. You seem to be in some kind of trouble. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, no, really. There isn't anything you can do. This fellow bothering you? Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I want you to meet Mr... Jones. Johnny Jones. Mr. Jones, this is my brother, Don Hopper. Your brother? Yes, and I don't know why, but I'm very fond of him. You'll have to excuse me now. Well, it's been awfully nice to meet you. waiting for you at Baker's. I'll be there in a little while. I've got to talk to someone. There's a cabin in the valley, in the valley of my dreams. And there's love light shining round the cabin door. There's a stream Beside the cabin in the valley of my dreams And there's welcome on the mat that's on the floor At night the whippoorwill is softly singing 
And that's where I want to be forevermore There's a cabin in the valley, in the valley of my dreams And there's love light shining round the cabin door Don't come up here. Please go away. You mustn't try to see me. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll only be a minute. I can't explain now, but I want you to get your brother out of town tomorrow and keep him with you. What's wrong? Now, don't worry. Just leave everything to me. Would you mind returning that, please? Oh, surely. We've seen this boy in action, and I think we owe him an apology for the things we've been thinking and, yes, and saying about his death. You're right, Lem. He's done a mighty good job in helping us, and I'm backing any move he wants to make. Well, I'm working to break up that gang in order to find out what happened to Tom Fletcher, and we've got him worried right now. It's up to us to carry the fight to them. You tell us what you want, and we'll ride according to orders. Well, our first move, boys, is to force that sheriff to turn his badge over to us. We need the law on our side to do the job right. Oh, yes, sir, that's true. I want you to get all your men together tomorrow and pay him a surprise visit. He'll fold up when it comes to a showdown. He's scared right now. Where'll we meet you? I won't be in on that play, Lem. I could be of more help to you by staying undercover. I think you're right. Come in. Gee. You know, you've been acting kind of funny lately. Anything been wrong? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just tired. You know, you're foolish to go on working like this. Don't you think it's about time you gave me the answer I want? I've been pretty patient. No, I can't marry you. You see, I don't like it here. Well, we don't have to live here. Well, we can live anywhere you say. I'm sorry. Please let's not talk about it anymore. Well, if you could see things my way, you'd be doing your brother a big favor. In what way? Why don't you ask him? Plinking on his guitar. Well? His name is Fletcher. He's the answer to all our trouble. How do you know? I trailed him tonight. I've got a lot to tell you. I'll go in my office. Bart, come along. Well, let's have it. They had a meeting tonight at the Baker Ranch. They've cooked up a big surprise for us. Well, he shouldn't be hard to stop. 
Bart, pay him a little visit. Right. Don, what's the matter? Nothing. Yes, there is. You're as nervous as a cat. Don, be fair to me. Whatever the trouble is, we're in it together. You've got to tell me what it is. Why are you afraid of Jim Davis? He knows that I killed Sheriff Fletcher. Don. I was drunk. Honest, Gene, I don't remember a thing about it. I, I know that I went with him to see him and there was a fight and... Well, well they say that I shot him. Oh, Don, I can't believe that you'd do that. I don't know what to believe. I had this when I woke up next morning. That's Sheriff Fletcher's gun. I don't know why I don't get rid of it, but I can't. The thing has a hold on me. Jim Davis knows this, and so does the sheriff. And now to protect myself, I've sent another man to his death. and killed you. Say, that fellow's dynamite with a gun. Yeah? I'll show you how to handle dynamite. Give me the sheriff's office. Hello, Joe. Jim. Say, I want you to go over to Sheriff Fletcher's house. Just a minute, Fletcher. I'm arresting you for murder. You're wrong, Sheriff. I shot in self-defense. Yeah. That's what they all say. Get going. Songbird all cooped up. Good. You better go over. Keep your eye on them. I'll come over later. Right. with this? Why not? So you thought you could come in here and outsmart me? The way things have been going, it looks like someone outsmarted you. It's a finished accounts. And don't expect your friends today. It'll be delayed. When the boys get through taking care of them, we're going to give you a trial and hang you. Well, of course, everything's going to be done strictly according to law. You'll be the second Fletcher I've sent to the happy hunting ground. So you're the man I want. Yeah, I, I thought you'd like to know that before you checked out. It'll make you going just a little bit tougher. Hey, you shouldn't have said that. Why, he's never going to get a chance to tell what I said. What do you want? Well, I figured that fellow you got in jail there might like his music box. 
Must get kind of lonesome in there if all alone. All right, let him have it. Yeah, and tell him I'd sure like to hear him sing a piece sometime. Well, I guess I'll be going now. I'm going over to the cantina. Keep your eye on that bird. the time with us if you like. If you're gonna sing, I'll leave that door open. I like to hear good music. All right, Sheriff, I'll do the best I can. And it better be good. I stepped into a town in Texas And they had in mind of doing wrong I looked around and saw the county sheriff And he drew his gun and said, now come along He said I was a horse thief and a bandit That rustled doggies from the old barrack he took me into court to get my sentence And the verdict was that they would stretch my neck They won't stretch my neck if I know it Won't be long now before I'll be free I've been hanging around many places But you'll never find me hanging from a tree Sent a letter to my gal in old Wyoming Said, honey, won't you help me make a break She made a cake and in it put a hatchet But forgot the dynamite to break the cake I sent money for a gun across the border To a gal that used to be my boy. But the only thing that gun would for she thought that I was just a little boy They won't stretch my neck if I know it There'll be no necktie party, you see For I ain't gonna hang in this prison And there'll never be a lily pinned on me better not come with me. Yeah, but uh, I got something to tell you. Tell me later. I know, but it's important. I... Come on. Fletcher's escaped. Fletcher? 
The man you know is Johnny Jones. I'm glad. Glad? If they don't get him, he'll kill me. He said so. Mine. Davis is the man I want, not you. Davis? Yeah. He killed my father and bragged about it. And all this time they made me think that I did. Down here. Some of you stay out here and watch for him. The rest of you come with me. Dad's gun. I'll make good use of this. Fletcher's in this building someplace. They must be upstairs. John, where are you going? Get back. I know who killed Sheriff Fletcher, and I'll show you. Take him into the other room.
he wants to see tax. Shining round door. 